it's Sam. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of like a makeup tutorial slash get ready with me using a brand that I have not used um, as far as their makeup goes for a very, very long time. I kind of want to tell you a little backstory. I did actually do a video of this brand years ago when I first started doing my makeup tutorials. I did a video and if you're like a long time subscriber, I think 23 Guarita literally was one of my first subscribers and she probably commented on that video. But it was a video and I just named it like best leg shimmer ever or <laughs> something ridiculous like that. And it was a can of models own like body shimmer bronzing spray that I had found at like Ross or TJ Maxx or something like that, Marshalls, I don't even know what start, start, the stores were called back then. Um, and I loved it and I used to wear it all the time and so I was like, I'm gonna do a video about this because everybody wants shimmery legs. And that was the first time I was introduced to that brand. So recently they contacted me and asked me if they could send me out a box of goodies um, to try out their makeup. It's obviously been kind of like, it's changed a lot since then. Um, and they are a UK brand, but they are now exclusive in Ulta. So if there's anything that you see throughout this tutorial that you're like, yes, I must have, they are now available at Ulta, which is very exciting because um, so far from what I've tried out today, I'm really impressed with quite a lot of the items. Um, I wanna talk about the packaging first because I think their brand, the brand is so fun and colorful. The kind of like concept behind the brand is bravery and beauty. Kind of just like doing your thing and like being brave and rocking those bright colors or doing something that maybe you're not super comfortable comfortable with. Hence my super dark look today. I mean, this is not something that I normally wear. You guys know I never wear dark lips. I also never wear black liner anymore in my eyes. So I kind of like went, I, I wanted to like go out of my box and kind of like you know, feel the kind of concept behind the brand. The box that came in, this was like the overlay. So automatically when I got it, I was like, yes, this is gonna be like so fun. Um, it's just a really fun, colorful, kind of like young brand. Doesn't mean you have to be young to use it, but I like the energy that it has because all of the packaging is bright. It's very unicorn vibe. So it's like blues, purples, pinks. Um, this one is like pink and yellow. The face products are all like teal and kind of like a really pale pink at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the makeup video tutorial, get ready with me so you guys can see exactly like how everything applies. Um, I just wanted to like do a kind of demo as I'm using all the products so you guys can see exactly like what they're doing. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna be doing a kind of like key, like winner products of the collection. So everything that I got, I wanna show you the things that I would recommend to go out and buy that I think are just really bomb products. Stay tuned, keep watching, and then I'll see you at the end with my faves, okay? Okay, how adorable is this background today, guys? Oh, I love it. I'll link it down below. Oh, I just realized I did not link yesterday's down below. Darn it. See, I always say I'm going to and then I forget. It looks like we have a face base this is the face primer, smooths, corrects, and primes. This is mattifying, and then we have um, a hydrating one. So this is what the actual packaging looks like. So pretty, it's like this really pretty kind of teal. Okay, so this one is blue. So this is a color correcting face primer, hydrating. Oil-free, fragrance-free, fragrance -free, silicone-based. And then we also have the face base mattifying primer and this is an oil free fragrance free silicone based it feels really nice okay i'm just gonna go ahead and try this one i'm having some trouble pumping it out feels super silky though like super silky i'm basically just gonna put that like anywhere that i kind of have pores i mean i know i've got pores over my whole face but it is very smoothing it feels like it's gonna fill them in really nicely. Okay, so now we have the little color correcting palette, concealer palette, and now I'm all silicone-y so I can't open it. Meh, Okay, so it comes like this where you have the pink, the green, the kind of, you know, concealer color and then the purple. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of this green because, um, you know, I do have quite a few situations going on at the moment. I have a lot of scarring and a lot of redness. 
I don't have foundation, so I'm going to go ahead and use like my regular foundation that I always use because there was not a foundation included that I know of at least. I'll have to double check just in case. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my Estee Lauder and my Giorgio Armani. Um, so basically I stopped using the Giorgio Armani for a while because someone had mentioned like, hey, maybe that's what's breaking you out. And then I continued to break out. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? If I'm going to continue to break out, I'm going to start using my Giorgio Armani and mix it with my Estee Lauder again. Because that looks good. It's such a beautiful co like co combination, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I continued to break out, so... Oh, I feel like that green really did help to, um, you know, cancel out the redness. I have to go get my teeth cleaned, and I'm just not really feeling it today. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. I just hate the dentist so much. It's not that I hate my dentist. I just hate the noises and the feeling and having to keep your mouth open for that long because that's hard too, you know? So now I'm going to go ahead and take the concealer that is in that same little palette that I used the green one. It is quite a creamy texture. Like they feel like they glide on really well. So I think this is definitely more of a color correcting versus like an actual concealer because it, it's not giving me a whole lot of brightness. So we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of my concealer over the top. Um, but that kind of had like a nice, it's got a, got a pinky peachy undertone. So it looks like it is brightening quite well. It's blending out nicely as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of my concealer over the top of that just to add a little bit more coverage but I do like the brightness that it gave under there so we've had like terrible weather guys and it's finally a nice day again yes next I'm gonna go ahead and take the model's own grand finale loose powder this says that it's a velvety finish with staying power and this is in the color translucent so again it has that really fun like teal packaging and then this is what it actually comes in. So just a nice clear plastic jar. So I am gonna go ahead and do my under eyes like I normally do, just so that they are nice and bright because this is obviously has a little bit of a color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and we'll finish off with that model zone powder. Okay, so luckily a lot has gone into the lid, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that all over my face. I do like the fact that it has like a tiny bit of a color, so I feel like then it gives you just a tiny bit of coverage. I feel like a mermaid with this background, guys. It's so pretty. So that was nice. That actually gave me like a really nice extra coverage. It doesn't look powdery on the skin at all. It just looks really nice. So yay, that's... And it has like a very kind of like kind of like a creamy finish almost. Okay, so now we have a Sculpt and Glow. This is a contour palette. So it looks like this and kind of cool like how it's like holographic with the writing. This goes with my background. Oh, so pretty. <gasps> Those are huge. Okay, I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness, this is a really nice contour shade. Okay, so it's not too dark to where it's like holy crud moly but it has a nice amount of warmth to it without being orange, if you can see. It is completely matte, so you don't need to worry about any shimmer or sparkle. I really do like the color. I think the color is actually really, really nice. It's very natural. Okay, so yes, I like that contour. I think that is bomb. That is a really nice color natural but it gives you a bit of warmth but it's not too warm so now we're going to move on to the afterglow blush which kind of looks like orgasm from nars it's kind of like a peachy pinky color with a gold kind of undertone shimmer oh that's pretty it gives a little like glow to the cheek. It's probably my favorite product. I feel like this is something I would use the most. Although I did like that primer. That primer was really nice as well. See that kind of golden glow I have already? That's beautiful. 
And then there's also a highlighter in there, but we're just gonna go ahead and take this. Okay, so it looks darker in the palette. I mean, obviously it's not like a super light highlight, but it still is giving me a nice like highlighted shade. It's actually really pretty. It's kind of like a nice like kind of rosy champagne. Okay, so I was just doing my eyebrows and so I was getting like up close and personal. My skin looks so smooth, guys. It's like insane. I don't know if it's the powder or the primer or both, but it is looking like, it's looking smooth. So we have two eye palettes. We've got Barely There and we've got Rockstar. So let's open them up and see. I mean, I am going to the dentist, so I don't want to be like super like, this might be a little bright for the dentist, but it is very dark and smoky maybe not for me to although there are some really pretty browns in there actually okay so that's that shade so definitely cooler toned and then we have barely there so they all have the fun kind of holographic writing which i think is fun oh god this is so beautiful look how pretty this palette is okay i'm using this one okay it also comes with brush so let's give the little brush a go so the first color i'm going to take is this color right here which is like a really pretty kind of peach and that is the color Nude. And I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. So for the next color, I'm gonna take Buff right here, which is like a really pretty, just kind of like pale, taupey color. I am just gonna go ahead and do my brow bone real quick with this Eau Naturelle right here, which is a really pretty soft pale pink, and it looks like it's matte. Yeah, it's matte. Oh, I like that color. That's nice. It's like not too much at all. See how it just like brightened up a little bit? I like that color. That color is good. So next, I think I'm going to take a little bit of this exposed color right here. This is like a really nice, deep, dark, kind of smoky brown. So I'm just going to place that kind of like in the outer third of my eye just to create a nice little kind of like cat eye. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, this color is like intriguing me right now. This is unrobed and it's kind of almost like a khaki greenish brown. Oh gosh, it feels so creamy. Oh yes, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, do you see how pretty that is, guys? It's like a khaki kind of like golden green. Oh my gosh, that is so metallic and so pretty. Okay, and then we have a very, very sparkly um, kind of golden one right here. This is naked, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of that in the very inner corner. These are super duper creamy, guys. Like, they are creamy, dreamy. So I'm just kind of like marrying that one into that greenish one. Okay, so next I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Exposed. I'm gonna take a little bit of that unrobed as well, that greenish one. And I'm just gonna kind of touch it right in the center. The next thing I'm gonna do is check out these liners. I put that I feel like I need to darken this up just a little bit underneath the eye and just kind of deepen it up just a little bit okay then on top we're gonna go ahead and take the eye definer liquid eyeliner again super cute packaging so it looks like all the face stuff is in that kind of teal packaging and then the eye stuff is in the bright pink and blue so it looks like this oh so it has a little white bottom and then a black top and it looks like it is just um, it's just like a little tip, it's not a brush, which I'm glad about because I don't really like the brushes. And I'm just doing a really little one, it's nothing major. It comes out really pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my, eye my own mascara because I did not get mascara in this box. And then we'll come back and we'll do the lip colors. I have two different lip colors. One is, oh, they're both a matte liquid lipstick. 
and um, it says they've got a hint of mint. One of them is raspberry mojito and one of them is 05. So let's go ahead and take them out and then see. Oh wow, okay, so one is like a really pretty berry color and then one is like a really deep, dark, vampy color. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go all out and just go vampy. I like the fact that the packaging, like you can see the color through it. Ooh, I think I'm gonna need a liner with this one. So this is actually way brighter than it looks. It looks like it's gonna be a very deep vampy and it's actually more of like a really bright purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a liner just because I wanna have like a really crisp line and I kind of wanna deepen it up just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take Gash from Urban Decay, or sorry, Hex, and I'm just gonna kind of deepen up and then create a line for myself. Okay, so I think the trick in, trick is with these is to fill in your whole lip with lip liner first and then put it on top of the lip liner. And it also has a Lip Finale Liquid Lip Sealer. And this is, I'm guessing, just a little clear. Okay, so it looks like a little nail polish. It says, keep your lips sealed with this waterproof lip sealer. Perfect for making lip color kiss proof for a pout that truly stands out. So you're just supposed to apply this after this is dried. So it feels really like cool and just like wet. But then it dries like really fast. So it doesn't have like a shine or a gloss or anything. It keeps your mats, or sorry, your lips looking matte. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my favorite products now. The ones that stood out to me that I think I would definitely recommend for you guys to go to Ulta and pick up or pick up online. Um, definitely the eyeshadow palette for sure. Oops, that was close. The Barely There, I think that this is such a beautiful palette. I think they're all really pretty. They're absolutely my colors. They're all those neutrals. And the pigmentation of those metallic ones are beautiful. They just, they did a really good job of picking out some great transitional shades, some deeper shades. I love that brow bone color right there. And then this color right here was amazing. I mean, I just think overall the palette is really good. It's um, it's a good mixture of mattes and sh like metallics. It's cute, it's convenient, it has a mirror. Like, I just think that this is really good. I would definitely recommend that if you like neutrals. Um, another product that stood out to me was definitely that primer. Now, have I dropped it? What have I done with it? Hello, my name is Sam and I lose literally everything in my mind. What on earth did I do with it? Blue primer, the hydrating one that is for color correction. I actually really like that primer. My pores are looking so smooth. My skin just looks really flawless. I'm really, really happy with the way that my face looks. Um, even when I'm like up close and personal, my pores look so good. I have a little bit of fallout, so I should probably brush that away. The other thing that I really liked was this Sculpt and Glow palette. This is the contouring palette. This one is in color medium to tan, and I have to say, this is great. I love the contour color. I think it's a perfect mixture of a nice contour shade, but it has a nice warmth. The highlight is really, really pretty, and the blush is gorgeous. I absolutely love this, so I think that this is definitely well worth checking out. I think there's some great colors in there. The pigmentation was nice. Um, they went on really well, and I just think that it's a really great little... I mean, I love the fact that, like, they're big. Like, that's a huge size, so you're not, like, having to dip your tiny little brush in there. Like, you can just be messy and, you know go to town. So I really like that everything that you need is all in one. I also think that the liquid liner was really good. It was super easy to apply. I liked the tip. The applicator was really like just very convenient to use. Uh, also it dried really nicely. It just was very easy and I don't use liquid eyeliner a whole lot anymore but I feel like I it was like very effortless so I definitely recommend that. I think that was really nice. And then last but not least, I'm definitely going to have to recommend these Liquid Lips and the Lip Finale Lip Sealer. So they feel a little weird. I got to be honest, because when you put the sealer on, it's like, oh, wow. Like, like, it doesn't even feel like I have liquid lips on. Like, nothing, like, nothing comes off. But I think, you know, wedding season is upon us. You're going to be kissing. And if you do want to rock a dark lip, 
I mean, obviously they have different colors. I specifically, I'm not super, I'm not a super fan of dark colors. I think we all know this, so I'm gonna be honest and say like, I would never normally wear this color if it wasn't for this video. Um, however, I do think that the actual formula, as far as it like staying on and not being like smudging or running, if you are gonna be getting married this year, or you just wanna have like a really bomb liquid lip that doesn't go anywhere, like this sealant literally just seals it. Like I can rub it and nothing comes off. Like it's it's amazing. I don't know, This it's this little sealer right here I think that makes it like super awesome. But I do think these are a nice formula. I just think they're a little hard to work with at first. I would recommend putting them over a liquid, or sorry, a lip liner first because they were a little patchy but I feel like once they're on and once you have a good layer on there, it's like I, I'm not worried about it at all. Because sometimes liquid lipsticks, I'm still a little stressed out if it's a darker color because I'm like, dang, this is like, it still feels like it could move. Whereas this doesn't feel like it's going anywhere at all. Um, and I think it's because of this little liquid sealer. So I definitely would recommend these, especially for this time of year. So those are the products specifically that stood out to me that I would recommend you guys pick up. I think you're going to be seeing a lot more of it on YouTube. Um, I love the packaging. I think it's fun. It's unicorn like mermaid vibes. It's really fun for the summer. I just love the bright colors. Um, but I do think they actually do have some quality products. So. I will leave everything linked down below that I used for this video that I mentioned um, so that if you guys want to go and check it out at Ulta, you can go ahead and click that link. It'll take you right on over and then you can purchase whatever you want. Um, definitely give them a go. Check them out if you do see them in your Ulta. I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you to Model Zone. I really appreciate it for you guys reaching out to me, sponsoring this video and sending me this really awesome stuff to share with my viewers. So hope you guys like. Mwah. Bye. Now I gotta figure out how to get this off for my dentist appointment. Like. I don't actually think it's coming off. This is like fudge proof, smudge proof lip poop. I'm gonna lick it. Whoa.